Yeah, if I turn my head, you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, let me let me get it. You out of your mind. You know that song by um. No, I don't. By um. No, I don't. Get out of your mind. No. What's his name? I don't know. Get out of your mind. Say it again. I think it. it Lil John. Yeah. It did come exactly. Mm-hmm. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. My dad literally just called me before, um, before I recorded this, and he was like, You're out of your mind! <laughs> <laughs> He's not mad about it, but he was just like, You gotta be. That means you're gonna sting people. That means you're cold-hearted. That means this, that, all these negative connotations. And well, good word choice. who wants all those bad vibes i good vibes only okay since jerry likes to pop up at my house randomly throughout the week he had to sit here and sit up and be in my video i'm making this video because in my last video i got a tattoo right here i'm an impulsive guy we're gonna take her to get her first tattoo on an impulse. This is probably one of the most spontaneous things. The spontaneous of the spontaneous. That's Will. You hit me up. But before I show the tattoo, I wanted to say why I got the tattoo because people like don't understand the reasoning behind my impulsive decision. So, April 18th, like I said in the last video, my beloved. Georgia May died. She's like the family that's not like my blood family, but still like my family. Because when I was younger, um, when I was a baby and my mom needed somebody to watch me and my sister, my actual family, for whatever reason, struggled to babysit us. And I remember her telling me in particular that my great great grandma wouldn't watch us unless she got paid. And she wasn't falling like that yet so this granny who lived right next door to us would always watch us for free and she would make sure we were fed she would make sure our hair was done that we wasn't out there looking crusty and fugly and ashy and nasty and all that stuff <laughs> so um she made sure we were set you know she took us with her on her family reunion trip she always always every day made us some oatmeal i will never eat oatmeal oh my gosh <sighs> i keep getting interrupted and it's really irking my nerve anyway life's still good though life's still <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah so she always made us oatmeal every day with the pet milk with the sugar with the toast with the butter on it that was put in the oven every morning so good oatmeal will never be the pet same milk. pet milk in the can oh from the can she put you stuck the knife in it pop it a little bit and you just pour it over the oatmeal <laughs> that was good bro and it filled you up all day that was like what is that protein yeah I'm, at that point it's more than protein. protein that boy uh that's a that's a bro that lasts you all day. It was so good. My mom tried to make it. Mm -mm. Oatmeal will never be the same. When she passed, I was really depressed, and um, I just wanted it to be dark and quiet. So I was sitting in bed for weeks. I didn't go to class, and um, I had like I kind of still do have like acute insomnia. I'll be up all night just sitting here, wide awake. Doing nothing. I always call her granny, but everyone called her honey. So when she died, all I could think about was like how sweet of a person she was. All I could think about was just honey, honey, honey. That's why I got this yellow on. It's one of my new favorite colors now. I was trying to demonstrate in the last video, but it didn't really work. I mean, I guess it's not gonna work now, but she said my name a certain way in my ear and I can hear it through this ear. Call me crazy, but hey that's what I can hear so um, I was like it has to go behind this ear and it didn't really hurt that much it took like 15 minutes I feel like I was real strong and resilient and that's another thing too about my granny 
She was um, 92 years old. She would have been 93 years old. She died of natural causes. And she did like everything by herself. She didn't need anybody to help her out until she got, you know, started to get sick. <laughs> when I was around, she was still older, probably like around her 60s and 70s. So, you know, some people get older and they act like they cripple and they can't do nothing. You need to take them to the bathroom. You need to drive them to the grocery store. You need to buy the groceries from the grocery store. Just get them packs of cigarettes. You need to get their lottery tickets. You got to do all this junk. No, not my granny. Not Georgia May. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She um <laughs> she would tend to her own garden. She would drive her own car everywhere she needs to go. If she needs to use the bathroom, she walk her butt up the stairs and walk her butt back down the stairs. She made her own food all the time. She didn't want nobody in her kitchen. Like I said, whipping up <laughs> whipping up that oatmeal, you feel me? Seeing that as a little girl makes me want to be self-sufficient, independent, and a lot of people say that I am. So I feel like that's because of her. Her family is my family. And so just getting this little honeybee tatted on me for the queen. It makes me happy because I was really um, depressed for a long time. Cause I didn't really know. I've never, like I said, I never had to lose or go to a funeral and do all that stuff for someone that I really cared for. Cause you know you can go to a funeral for somebody you don't really know or don't really care for. I remember my uncle. <clears throat> he was real cool, and I love him, but we wasn't that close. And I'm not. I can be emotional, but I'm not very emotional. So at the funeral. I went and everybody was crying. Everybody was crying. And I wanted to cry, but I couldn't bring myself to cry. So I was literally licking my fingers and like, <laughs> putting it down my face to look like it was, I was crying. <laughs> my cousin was like, you gonna go to hell because. <laughs> <laughs> she says, because, like, literally everybody was crying. That was my mom's brother. You know, he was a good, a good person. He wasn't a bad person. And everybody was in the church crying. And I'm like, dang, I love you and I want to cry, but it's not coming. So I was licking the fingers. I was licking the fingers and just rubbing it down my face. And that didn't even do nothing because, you know, it just dried up real quick. <laughs> I'm dead. Luckily, I have no crest marks on my face. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it didn't work. And I'm not a good actress either, so if it ain't real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my God, kids love me. <laughs> This my god dog. Yeah. yeah.